So Takashi has decided to plead guilty to nine charges. And the, there's a portion of this video that is actually, shout out to TMZ, portion of this video that's actually about the article that TMZ wrote about the nine charges that he decided to plead guilty on. Then there's another portion of the video that's about the difference between snitching and cooperating. And then there's a small portion of this video is explaining why he cooperated. So before I go any further, and before you actually see the video after the, you know, my intro stuff, I want to say shout out to them dudes that forced Takashi to cooperate by removing his lawyer. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN. Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so... Yeah. So as, as everybody know, I don't even know how I messed up the first as everybody know, but as everybody know, over here at the BBN Network, we pick up storylines and then we follow those storylines to its conclusion. Um, we've had a couple of different storylines before. Right now, Takashi is our main storyline, but we've had quite a few others. So obviously, I have to report on this. At the end of this video, put it down in the comment section if you still want me to follow the Treyway uh, portion of this story, or since this is the conclusion of the Takashi portion, that you would just be like, yo, just move on. We don't really care about what happens to Shadi or Mel or any of those other guys. But if y'all want me to continue the Treyway portion of this particular storyline, just leave it down in the comment section and I'll do it. All right, so first thing I want to say is TMZ is reporting. TMZ is reporting that Takashi pleads guilty to nine counts, drugs, guns, racketeering. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to explain what uh, people are like snitching is one thing and, you know, you have to cooperate and cooperating is totally different from snitching, but cooperating can work in the same way that snitching can work. So I just want to say that first, because in multiple other videos, I said, I don't think Takashi is snitching, but I do believe that he's cooperating. We had Snow Billy on the show the other night. I asked Snow Billy, was Takashi snitching? Takashi, uh, Snow Billy said Takashi is cooperating. There is a difference, but I mean, it depends on what side of the gavel you fall, I guess. So I, so in the beginning of this article, it says, we now have the transcript of Takashi's plea from last week. And he opens up about how he got involved in criminal activity and does a lot of snitching. Okay, so basically this is how it works when you go to the feds, right? There's like a point system for everybody that don't know. There's like a point system. And when the point system, how you get points basically is, and points, I believe, help you with, you know, whether the judge is going to give you a shitload of time or whether, God dang it, I curse. Whether the judge is going to give you a lot of time or whether the judge is going to give you a little bit of time. Definitely weighs in on the point system. The more points you acquire, I think the more likely the judge is to be lenient or whatever the case might be. So you want to acquire points. The way that you acquire points is by cooperating, by saying, yes, this thing right there, I was involved in it. That thing right there, I was involved in it. This is what I did. That is what I did. I did those things. I did these things. That is how you get points, by cooperating. Not by necessarily, I'm not saying by necessarily saying, well, you know, Joe Smo, he had, he hit him with the candlestick in the library. I'm not saying that. I'm saying they'll ask you questions like, did you give anybody a candlestick while they were in the library? And if you gave him the candlestick and you'd be like, well, yeah, I gave Joe Smo the candlestick <laughs> while he was in the library. But because you have to admit to whatever it is that they believe you did. You understand what I'm saying? That's cooperating. So it goes on to say in court. He says he joined the nine trade bloods in the fall of 2017 and in March of 2018. Wow. 
Is that saying that in the fall of 2017, he started his initiation and he was completed by March of 2018? That sounds like what he says. He admits helping members of the gang attempt to kill a rival to increase his own standing in nine trade. Then on April 3rd, he says he ordered another member attempt robbed at a rival at gunpoint. On April 3rd, he says he ordered other members robbed. This is just, I don't know. They, they need to, what in the hell? The, I don't know if the punctuation is bad. On Then on April 3rd, he says he and other members, yeah, I just missed that second he, robbed the rival at gunpoint. I'm sorry about that, y'all. So, uh, so basically, once again, you have to admit to your crimes. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, they already got you in your mind. You have to admit to your crimes. And, and by the way, wait until what I have to say after all of this, and you'll realize why he actually did this. Because I'm going to tell you why he decided to uh, cooperate. Okay, so it also says he got into the Chief Keith shooting, saying in court, a person, I paid a person to shoot at a rival member of Nine Trade to scare him. The shooting took place in Manhattan. I did this to maintain or increase my own standings in Nine Trey. He admits knowing a fellow gang member was the target, was the trigger man. Okay, once again, if you notice, they're not saying any names. Takashi also admits to selling a kilo of heroin in 2017 and offer an apology for all his crimes, saying, I apologize to the court and to anyone who was hurt, to my family and friends and fans for what I have done and who I have let down. Despite his cooperation, 6 9 could still be going away for a long time, according to docs. Not docs like doctors, but docs like documents. He could face a minimum of 47 years unless the feds ask the court for leniency. Keep in mind, he's 22 years old now. He can also be fined well over $10 million again unless prosecutors and judge cut him some slack. By the way, he didn't plead, he did indeed plead guilty to all nine counts. There was a discrepancy in the documents. That's interesting to know. Okay, so. Before I go on to finish reading this, there is definitely something that I want y'all to know. Okay, so that's the other, that's the other, uh, other. Okay, so coincidentally, the date that Takashi made this plea is allegedly, allegedly, January, wait for it, 23rd. You know who went to court January 22nd, right? On January 22nd, that was the day that Takashi found out he wasn't going to be able to use Lazaro. Remember I told y'all? It was not a conflict of interest. A conflict of interest can be argued. You cannot argue against, you know, uh, to, to do away with client attorney privilege. That was the issue. I do not know what everybody else is talking about. I was actually in the courtroom. I'm guessing some of these people weren't in the courtroom and other people just assumed. That's all I can guess. But the judge said that the problem was attorney-client privilege. That's what the judge said. The judge did not say conflict of interest, although obviously there is a conflict of interest. It's just that attorney-client privilege supersedes that. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is this. If he doesn't lose Lazario on the 22nd, and Lazario knows he's off the... You should have seen how steaming mad Lazario was when he walked out that courtroom. Y'all don't understand. The judge lit into him. Like, you know better than this. Like, this? This isn't even... This isn't a mistake of... A, 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 a two-year attorney is going to make. An attorney that just got out of attorney school, <laughs> an attorney that, <laughs> attorney school, attorney that just passed the bar, got out of law school, obviously, just passed the bar, wouldn't make a mistake like this. You know better. 
He talked to him like he was a little kid, like he was scolding him in front of all of his peers. That dude was embarrassed. Anyway, so he he ran out the courtroom. He was very upset. He was pissed. You could see it on his face. So upon Takashi losing his attorney and they were going to fight, he had no choice but to, but, but, but to um, make a deal. He had no choice. He had no choice. You get it? Everybody else already had the good lawyers. He had no choice. He lost his attorney on the 22nd. He copped on the 23rd. And that's why nobody can make it to the courtroom. That's why nobody knew about it. Also, for everybody that's like, Takashi's just snitching. He's not even turning evidence. You know, if Takashi was, as, as far as at least, this is what I believe the court system work. If I'm wrong, please somebody put it down in the comment section. But as far as I believe, the way the court system actually works is if you make a deal to then testify against people, you're, they, don't, they don't sentence you or, or, or bang the gavel on your deal until you do the thing that they want you to do. That's, that's what I'm assuming is the way that it works. Now, what they can possibly do, I don't know, but what they can possibly do is sentence him and then say, well, we sentenced you for 20 years, let's say, right? But if you come and you turn a uh, witness and you get on the stand against these other guys, we'll cut it down to seven or some shit. I don't know what the numbers might be, but you know, that's a possibility that they might do that. Maybe they sentence him to 10 years. And if he go and he turns evidence on everybody and he goes and he, uh, you know, gets on track, gets on the stand against other people. Maybe then they say, you know what, let's, uh, we give you probation. I don't know. But the point is, is that he is not snitching and even more so the fact the absolute fact that he went to court on the 23rd after losing his attorney on the 22nd shows that if he didn't lose his attorney he would still be fighting this that's factual evidence i mean that's documented he lost his attorney on the 22nd on the 23rd, he went back to court to do all of these shenanigans. They knew that they lost. They knew that they was out of it. It was a wrap. Look, man, that was strike three. You know what I'm saying? That was a fourth and long, and the wide receiver dropped it. So directly because of Shadi's actions, getting his lawyer pulled, Takashi had no choice but to cooperate. And the fact that it happened on the 23rd, the day after they went to court on the 22nd, is even further proof that before then, Takashi, most likely 90% of the chance, he was not cooperating or talking or being friendly with the police in this matter at all. Ain't this something? Literally, them removing Takashi's attorney, quite possibly caused them to be in a bad situation. And that's kind of how karma works. But before we go any further, well, we're going to close this out real quick. I want to say this. Nowhere in that article that I just read that it said anyone's name. Now, we know TMZ. If he would have said someone's name, TMZ would have plastered that shit all over there. He didn't. It doesn't say anyone's name. It just says, yes, I did this thing and I did it with this gang. I did it with a gang member. I did that other thing and I did it with a different gang member. And then I did this other thing and it was with like three or four of us gang members. You know TMZ. They will plaster whoever's name it was all over their channel. Shout out to TMZ. I'm not being disrespectful towards them. I'm just speaking facts. Once again, cooperating is different from snitching. Snitching is saying me and that guy did it. That one right there, yeah. The one with the green hat. Cooperating is saying, yeah, I did the crime. Me and some other guys. Me and some anonymous dudes that I'm in the gang with did this crime over there. That's cooperating. 
which you have to do in order to get a deal that he had to take because they had his attorney removed. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.